Let's talk reporting in Sage 100 Contractor. It's something I feel doesn't get enough focus, and I think it's time to go back and really kind of dig into it. So we're going to start today with some basic report modifications that you can make, and we're going to work our way through a series of more advanced modifications, custom report building from scratch, and that kind of thing. First thing we're going to do is kind of talk about how you can identify the modifications that can be made to a report. So, for example, the trial balance and the general ledger reports don't have much modification you can make to them. They're locked reports, basically. They're default reports in Sage 100 that make use of the same printing format but are not actually built in a way that the report designer directly can handle. And you can tell that these reports can't be modified the same way because they don't have a modify report button right here. They can, however, have their form design modified. And this is true of any report in the system. So you can open up the form designer and you can see that in this case, we've got a landscape version of the report. So we've got Ten and a half as our width, and seven and a half or eight as our height. We have a logo. We've got the company name. We've got various header and footer fields already here. We could add some more to give us some information there by bringing up the insert field. We can change the font, we can change the header, and for, or not the font, we can change the colors, we can change the format, you know, if it's a number, how do you want that number to display, whether it's left or right aligned, and the various other pieces of information about it. And then that's really all we can do on those basic reports is just change that header and footer. We can't even change the font that goes into the report itself. We're not going to save our changes to that one. Let's take a look, though, at other kinds of reports we might take a look at. So one example of a good report we might check out would be in the receivables. We might want to take a look at, say, the client list. And maybe we want to do something like add the active date or something like that to it. So if we pull that one up in the report printing screen, we'll see we now have a modify report button. If we go ahead and click that, that's going to pull the report up in the report writer. And here we can come in and add fields as we need to. So we can see this is built for a portrait mode. It's eight inches wide. And we have our detail here. And we can see what's the particular field that's being pulled by going into the properties. Here we're pulling the receivables client table with the field name record number. So we're getting the client number. And we can choose again all the same formatting that we had before. We can position it manually here, or we can click and drag to move it around. And if we wanted to do something like, say, replace the fax number with a different field, we could do that. We'll click off to the right of the existing field and insert fields. Let's add something like, maybe we're interested in the state. So we'll add this state for that client. And we'll add this over here and we'll just up in this row up here, we'll go ahead and call it state. And then we can do alignment options. So align the top. And we can review our font formatting. So we've got bold, size 10, Arial font. And we'll update state to match that. So Arial, size 10, bold. And then we can also carefully expand our lines to match. We want to align tops, and we want properties on this one. Just to review, Arial 9, regular, and let's double check that that matches. I believe it does. Arial 9 and regular. 
So now, if we go ahead and save this report design, we'll update the number so that it's unique in the list. We'll save it just for us. You can also save it as a report that anyone could use across the system or as anyone within the same company can use. And we'll go ahead and pull up the print form again. We can see our version of it's here. And if we do a print preview, we can see now that we can see what state is our particular client in. That's all I've really got for you today. Just a good example of how you can change your formatting, placement, where to go to change the header and footer, and all of that. Thanks for watching.